Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> thought I'd do a, uh, a look at uh, Norfolk Island Pine. I'm sure that you have seen these in the grocery store um, frequently around the holidays, around Christmas time. Uh, it's a very common one, a very popular one, and uh, you can uh, you can decorate them for Christmas. You can uh, you can uh, decorate them for summer if you want. They're they're quite lovely. Uh, they have a really nice soft uh, needle. Um, really easy to maintain. Uh, to be honest with you, in the beginning, I uh, I didn't have much luck with these because I, I really didn't know how to grow them. So I thought I'd uh, give you a little bit of uh, advice, a little bit of uh, tips. Uh, as you can see, this one is is growing wonderfully. It's about uh, two years old. I got it. It was about half the size, if not less than half the size. Um, I think it was probably about eight, maybe ten inches tall, and uh, wasn't very wide at all. It was just a, just a small little decorated plant around the holidays, and I bought it. I think I bought it for ten dollars. Um, I kept the ornaments but uh, the ornaments, there, there's not nearly enough now to, uh, to decorate this. Um, so the trick with these guys is they like lots of light inside. As much light as you can give them, um, make sure that they don't dry out. They, they really don't like to dry out. Uh, and, and they're one of those silent uh, killers, or silent, silent dyers, I guess, where uh, the soil will be dry one day, and you'll notice it, and uh, by the time the plant starts showing that it's dry, it's pretty well too late. You might as well just get rid of it. Um, in this case, uh, I have underwatered it a few times. I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, I have, uh, it looks like there's two plants in here that, oh, three, four, oh my god, I'm lying to you. Uh, when you buy these, they're uh, they're usual multi they're usually multi stems, uh, and you'll probably get about ten or twelve little plants in in a, a small four inch pot. Um, in in my situation, if you can see in there, there's uh, some golden brown, all kinds of dead dead growth in there. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to do to trim these back, and uh, yeah, we'll get a closer look. Uh, with also with these ones, you don't want to prune them per se. Uh, they don't produce back buds like uh, like any of our deciduous things. And I haven't noticed these guys uh, produce candles like uh, if you're in the northern climate um, with your your typical evergreens. Uh, usually you candle them. All the new growth that comes up in a in a spike and you kind of break it in half. These don't do that. I will experiment with trimming. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, they don't really respond well to, to pruning. They will just, uh, they'll stay green, but they won't grow, and then they, uh, they will eventually die. Um, so, but I will experiment with it. Uh, never say anything's impossible. Just, uh, sometimes plants uh, do strange things for, for different people. So anyway, like I said, I'll bring you in a little closer, and uh, we'll give a look at this, alright? wanted to show you guys the uh, the fun pattern of the growth of this. It kind of looks like a snowflake. It's uh, it's quite beautiful. Um, and and these branches, the lower branches, get, get quite wide. Really, really beautiful plant. If, uh, if you're lucky enough to have um, a home that has, a, I guess, a loft upstairs that looks down onto the, uh, onto the main level, uh, this would be a beautiful plant to have because you would look down and you would see this beautiful formation. Um, I absolutely love it. It's one of the reasons why I, I grow it. I I love that appearance. So okay, let's get let's get into the pot level and see what's going on. Okay, so we're a little bit closer here. Again, I don't know whether you got a good view. Let me uh, see if I could tilt the camera down just a little bit. Mind my scissors. Okay. Can you see all this uh, golden growth here? not very happy down there. So I'm just going to take my scissors and, and uh, cut them as close to the main plant as I can without, uh, without damaging any of the, the, uh, the good growth. Got a little pot here some that I uh, put all my uh, compost in. 
There's some dead plants in here as well. I'll clean these out. It's been a really long time since I've done this, but it'll make the plant look a little nicer. And uh, after this, I'm going to decorate it. It is holiday season, so I'm going to uh, put a few decorations on it and, and make it feel happy. Uh, some people have the uh, spray paint glitter or the spray glitter. You could, uh, you could definitely uh, use that sparingly. You don't want to uh, really coat your plant because it could cause problems with its photosynthesis process. It's uh, respiration. Plants need to breathe just like we do, so uh, you don't want to uh, plug, plug up any of its natural breathing holes. Okay, and there's lots more here. It's, uh, it's funny how when, uh, when you feel the plant, it's very soft, but then you get these dead bits, and they're not soft anymore. They're uh, they're pretty pretty stabby. They not pleasant. I noticed another reason why I wanted to do this video. I noticed that the other day I was uh, I, I thought my plant was well watered, and uh, it was dry. So I'm sure that there's going to be uh, more depth on this one soon. As you can see, this whole branch kind of looks like it's still alive. It's not. It, it's, uh, it's very crispy. That's why I say that they're like a, they, I guess like a, like a bird. You don't really know that it's sick until it's too late. That's going to be the same with a lot of the evergreens, especially as houseplants. Um, they don't like to be too wet, but they don't like to be too dry. And that could be a little bit of a problem for a lot of people and their watering habits. Especially for me, because I, uh, I tend to keep things on the drier side. Okay, it looks like this is uh, pretty well cleaned up. Looks a lot nicer. I don't see any of the... Oh, I lie again. There's all kinds of branches here. If you can see the floor, it's, uh, it's littered with little picky branches. I'll have to bring the vacuum cleaner through here. And I'll get in trouble. People are going to get spikes in their socks. It's not pleasant. All right. So as you can see, I've gotten a whole uh, whole pot full of uh, dead branches. It's surprising how much can come off of these. So just uh, just be good to maintain your plant, and then once you're once you're good with growing it, hopefully you won't get much dieback because the dieback is is really a shame. So and I'm going to uh, hang some decorations on on this tree. It's uh, like I said, it's a holiday season. So uh, I got these really, really cute, uh, they look like Christmas lights. Let me move the camera back here. We'll tilt it back up. I'm just going, these ones are very light ornaments. So I'm just going to, uh, I don't have any hooks. I'm just going to loop them through. I'll just have them just easily uh, dangling there. Very, very cute. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just going to finish decorating this. Just going to throw some decorations on here. And uh, I thought about putting some mini lights on here too, but I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. It's uh, getting pretty close to Christmas, and uh, I, don't, I don't think I'll find the time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I, uh, I absolutely love uh, my Norfolk Island pine. It's getting a little bit big now. Um, I hope that it doesn't get too much bigger, but... Uh, um, it will definitely get taller, and, well, whatever will be, will be. I will always have a place in my home for it if it decides to survive. But again, this is, this is two years worth of growth, and it's, it's grown probably a foot and a half in two years. A foot and a half tall. It's now starting to put out fantastic new growth. Let me just bring the camera up. The fantastic new growth. Oh, and another thing that I love about this is they grow in tiers. It, it looks like a full plant because... Uh, there's several plants in there, but if you just had one plant on its own It would have one level and then it would have another complete new level and then uh, same thing up up taller fantastic fantastic plant give it a try if you haven't already and uh, Happy growing everyone